Question number one. Ali puts these five numbers in their correct places on a number line. And we've got to write the number that's closest to 500 and also the number that's furthest away from 500. Well, what we can do is find the gap from 500 to each number. So the gap from 500 up to 511 is 11. The gap from 500 down to 499 is just 1. From 500 to 502 is 2. From 500 to 555 is 55. And from 500 to 455, well, if you can do it in your head, that's great. You should get that it's just 45. But let's say you couldn't do that one in your head, because that's the hardest one to do in your head. You could do a quick column method, just to double check, by subtracting 455 from 500 to find the difference. And the difference would actually be the gap. So, 0 take away 5, you can't do. So you need to borrow from this 0 here. But you can't borrow from 0, because there's nothing there. So you need to go to the next column, which is the 5, and borrow from there instead. So if you borrow one from the 5, that becomes a 4, and the one you borrowed turns this 0 into a 10. But that's still no good to us because this is still 0. So we need to borrow one from this 10, which now becomes 9, and the one we borrowed makes this 0 on the end into a 10. Now we can do it because the 0 on the end has now become a 10. So 10 take away 5 is 5, 9 take away 5 is 4, and 4 take away 4 is nothing. So the gap from 500 down to 455 is 45, which is what we set up here. So the number closest to 500 is going to be the one that's got the smallest gap, and the one with the smallest gap is the one that's only one away, which is 499. So 499 is closest to 500. And the one which is furthest away from 500 is going to be the one with the biggest gap. And the biggest gap, if these numbers in blue here are the gaps, the biggest gap is this 55. So the number that's furthest away is going to be the 555. And that's question one done.